Hi. So I'm creating this video. Um, I Googled this. I looked on Trailblazer. I looked at ChatGPT and found no answer. So if you've ever needed a reason to automatically approve an approval process in Salesforce, this is the video for you. So I'm working with a client that is a nonprofit organization who provides financial assistance to individuals um, who are cancer patients. And we have certain thresholds of when a application comes in as a case where that application can automatically be approved by the resource navigator and then there's thresholds when dependent on the amount of the grant requires a manager's approval and I looked um, we had another way where a resource navigator could indicate if they've approved this case um, but because we wanted other field updates to occur and process builder no longer exists, we're like, okay, we either have to figure out how to automatically approve this case or leverage flow. No, I've done this before in different organizations, but I have not worked on an approval process in a few years. Um, but we figured it out. So what we'll do if you want to automatically approve a case. You want your entry criteria to be very broad so that the majority or all of the cases, depending on how many record types you have, um, go into this flow. We will likely add the specific record types also, um, but there are so many that we're just keeping it basic for now. So the entry criteria, you want it to be very broad so that more records can flow in this approval process. Determine who manages it, need a email template for the approval assignment here, determine what fields you want visible in the approval process page layout. You can also edit that in the lightning page. That's for another um, So that'll be the first step. We likely will have to review our entry criteria and then under approval steps whatever you have um, if you have something you'll either create new or your edit it originally this was only for when it needs to be sent to a manager so we're going to update this to um, submit case work want to make sure that the field labels and the descriptions that we're using accurately reflect the process and that we always have a description. So then under specify step criteria, here's how you can automatically approve or reject a record. You can't do both within this step, you can do either. Um, Originally, we had all the records enter this step, and that was because we had more specific criteria in the okay. Since we made it broad, we now only require an approval process to go through if it meets those criteria. If it doesn't meet the criteria, then we're going to approve the record. That's it. Again, you can also reject the record. Um, in this process, we approve the record unless it meets this criteria. So instead of adding this criteria in the entry, you'll add the criteria here in the approval actions. And this will automatically certain records in your approval process. Bye.